Do, do, do. Watch me whip. Watch me crochet. Watch me knit, knit. Watch me yay. It's Whip Wednesday. Hey there, Soul Shines. It's take two of Whip Wednesday. It is Whip Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Which means I get to share what I'm working on. Works in progress. And I apologize if this feels like a very um, blue kind of day. It is gray outside. It is rainy. It is been an interesting drama around our house lately. Um, I have a leaky roof, so it's raining inside. I have all kinds of things happening in life. And so I'm trying, but I just sit down here and I feel like I have this big old weight on top of my head. So it's making it hard to think and I'm trying. So I'm going to talk to you about this stuff. We're going to first talk about this project. I will link the pattern below. It's been really hard to work on this because I wasn't sure what was going to happen in the relationship. It is this pouch. Um, they had a big talk a few days ago and apparently broke up last night. So I'm sitting here going, do I finish the project for this boy that is no longer a part of our lives? I don't know. I really, truly don't know. So I have these that I'm also working on. I will leave the tutorial that I followed to make these down below. And when they're all put together, they make a rose. Um, there needs to be center ones. I forgot the basket that I made. It's a white basket that I crocheted to put flowers in. I'm making a centerpiece for my table, although until it stops raining inside our house, I don't know what to do about that um, because the rain comes down on the table. So I don't want to put fancy decorations on the table just to get them burned by leaking ceilings. Anyway, um, so I'm making a rose. I was really excited. This is a I found this color within my yarn stash and I went, yay. Um, I have varying degrees of this color throughout my house. Um, darker version, really light versions. I love this color. It's kind of a grayish blue, green color. And I mean, it's mostly blue. It is a blue, but it has just a hint of green and it's grayed down. So I really love it. Um, the lighter color probably would be called like a seafoam green, seafoam blue. Um, I just really love it. It's really pretty and I was really excited to find that I had them to make these flowers. So I had that and then I will show you this. I just started this today. I haven't gotten very far. Um, this is the pattern, a bookmark for Doby. And I don't know how well you can see online here, the camera, there is an eyelet row. Um, and so it's going to have eyelets throughout, so it's a little lacy pattern. Um, I did, I'm going to pull this one out. This is the finished one. Of course I'll link the pattern for these, a bookmark for Dobby is what it's called. Here's the finished sock. Um, I did change this one. Um, this one has... 10 rounds of ribbing and I decided to do like half of that on this one. Ah, uh, it's okay to make changes to things like that. Um, I also did a fish lips kiss heel which I'll also link down below and I'm planning to do that with this one. I just really like the fish lips kiss heel so that's what I chose to use in these adorable little socks. So um, I will be finishing this one. I will also link the Facebook group Random acts of knitting and crochet kindness because I've made up my little notes. Oh, I want to sh tell you what the notes say exactly. Dobby tags say, you have been presented with clothes. You are free. It says, thank you for finding this gift. It is yours to take with you or leave for another. If you would like to share on Facebook, we love to hear the stories in the random acts of knitting and crochet kindness group. So I have those. And then the heart bookmarks, the only part that's changed is 
the very, very top. Where it says you have been presented with clothes you are free, it does not say that. It says instead, this heart is handmade with love. And then it goes into thank you for finding this gift of yours um, to take with you or leave for another. Um, so I'm really excited to finish another one of these. Um, this yarn here, I don't know if it is fingering weight or if it's a sock weight. Um, it's sorry, not finger, fingering and sock are the same. If it's a lace weight or a sock weight, I actually don't know what lace weight yarn is like. Um, but if it's a sock weight, it's a very thin sock weight, fingering sock. Um, so this might be a one weight or it might be a zero weight. Um, I don't know what it is. Somebody gave it to me. And it was like this when I got it, except for without the little bit I've made the socks with. Um... So, I'm just making up these little things. Kind of fun. I did frog the one blanket you'll hear about tomorrow. Um, more on th things we're making Friday update. Things we're making Thursday updates. Um, but I have been working on the multivalence. I work on my temperature things. I did have a Sunday that I wasn't able to get stuff, but I've got it all caught up now. Um, and the tithing hat, I finished a tithing hat, um, so definitely worked on that. I think that's kind of it for now. I have a whole bunch of plans, but I just... I haven't had a lot of Crojo or Nitjo or Mojo. It's been pretty chaotic with a lot of things and so I'm not moving as many things forward as I think that I want to make move forward. I was about to say should and I'm like, no, I'm not going to should on myself. I kind of had some expectations for myself and I haven't been moving forward on them. So that's a little frustrating. But I have been making stuff. I really, really want to finish a rose. I really do. I don't know why. I made the first three and then I'm like, huh. And it just has been sitting there. So um, I'm trying to get through and finish the multivalence um, clue this week as well. So that's kind of my main focus. And then part of why I started the knitting project, um, the little Dobby sock is because I needed to take with me project and I haven't had one for a while so I was like well I'll do a take with me sock or yeah a mini sock that could mostly get done today depending on what I work on so anyway um sorry I got a little rambly but at least I didn't go into the blows so much as I did in my first take so it's sometimes it's a hard knock life guys sometimes um er, but, you know, we choose to be happy or we choose to let it get us down. And I choose to do everything within my power, which is sometimes a lot to do every day to try and keep myself up. Um, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.